goes down in behind the Griffin net, and it's Gerard to play for San Antonio. He'll drop it off along the right side. Kim Poston with it, and a score. That shot finds its way past Jared Coro, 158 into the opening period in San Antonio. Draws first blood here. And take a one to nothing lead early. Oh, here's Elson with a puck for the Griffins. Dropped it off down low and a feed across to Bertuzzi from a sharp angle. Didn't get much on the one-timer. Now they sail it right back past his stick. It came off to the right point. Shot there blocked. Elson, rebound, score! Turner Elson puts home the rebound from the slot area. And the Griffins come right back and tie it up 1-1. 509 in the opening period. Pretty good start, huh? Yeah, for sure. Well, like I said, boy, you coming into a... Oh! Now back the other way in the rampage score from the left wing circle. Andrew Agazzino with a rolling, bouncing puck tucked it in past Jared Caro. And at 5.43 of the first period, San Antonio right back on top. Yep. San Antonio will pick it up. Here's a stretch pass. They're behind the defense, right in. Backhand shot, score! Thanks. My, oh my. Tage Thompson will get the goal. And it's 3-1 San Antonio. Three goals on six shots on net. Here's Pumple with it. Rampage zone to our left. Matt Ford out there. Laredo joining him. Here's a pass right in front. Score! What a play! Matt Laredo on the right doorstep set up, and he had a wide open net. No chance at all for Billy Russo. And the Griffins waste no time. In fact, only 12 seconds it took them to score during the two man advantage. And they're right back in it, down by one now at 3 2. Goaltender sent him for a little bit of a spill right off that. Oh, no. What a great play right off the draw. The rampage score. Wow. As uh, working it around on that faceoff was Dominic Toninato, and he slid a pass right to the doorstep, and they pop it in. No chance for McCullum. And the rampage are right back on top here for 2 4. Every shot call. Will be a power play, but will be a penalty. Power play hopefully in 38 seconds. And up the draw, score! Griffin! Right back in it again! Russo has the puck to Holmstrom right in front, oh. score! What a pass by Holmstrom across the Stetschnikov! And it's a power play goal and a brand new hockey game tied at four! Shoveling it around near side, Griffin's will clear it. Ooh, wheels. Campbell around the defense, right in with a shot and a save. Rebound, Elson turning. It came loose, a chance, score! I believe it'll be out. Near side, Matt Pumple played it off the boards. Now well, Pumple goes for a spin, gave the puck for Bertuzzi to Pumple. Right circle shot, same rebound. In front of chance, score! Matt Marino has got his second of the game. But they get it back to the line. Here's Warsonski taking a look right into the slot. Now well, they'll turn and get it back to Warsonski. Shot blocked in the play by Elkins, and he'll there slide it, it down the ice. That puck's going to go into the net, and it does. Empty net goal for Corey Elkins. And the Griffins will put it away. Leading it now 7 to 4. That'll be a short handed goal for Corey Elkins. Whoa! Ooh. And Matt Ford dumped his man right into his own bench yeah, across I, I, the way. And now they're not happy about that, and we got trouble. We got fist flying. I do not think Ford realized the door was open. If the door's not open, that's not an issue. But he bumped his man, and he went right in the San Antonio bench. And Agazzino was popping. I think it was Turner Elson. Yeah, he was throwing them right away. And they're still throwing them, no doubt. And Elson's on a it Well, he ought to be, because Agazzino was giving them some cheap shots with players in between them. And Elson now is broken free here. And Held in with three seconds to go. They break up the play, and that'll do it. And the Griffins.